Begin by moving the steering wheel as far back, yellow arrow, and as low as it will go, red arrow. If you have power adjustments, there is a lever on the bottom of the column you can use to move it. There is a single trim piece that surrounds the front of the instrument cluster, red arrow. Use care when removing it, as some of the clips are small. Use your trim removal tool and gently pry the top of the trim piece downwards and out while pulling it out from the sides. There are two small clips that sit in the vent, red arrow. Use care when pulling these out as they are small and can easily break. Remove the trim piece from the top, red arrow. Remove the odometer reset by pulling it straight out. Use a long-handled T20 torque and remove the four torque screws, red arrows, holding the cluster in the dash. Over the years, the sun and gravity will cause the dash to settle. Take your time and carefully remove the cluster from the dash by tilting it down from the top and then removing it. There is a single electrical connection on the back of the cluster on the left side. Push in the tab on the back, red arrow, and slide the gray hinge upwards. This will push the connector out of the cluster. You can now remove the cluster from between the top of the steering wheel and the dash. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.